everybody, this is Anne-Marie from A&B Illustrations and today I'm really excited about this pack. I just, just finished it. It's not even up on my store yet. It will be up in, a, in about an hour. But um, I really wanted to tell you a lot about this pack. So um, I'll, I'll show you what I can do and how you can achieve things and how you can play around with things. This is the fun part. All right, let's go. So I'm go this, uh, the watermarks do not come um, when you buy the pack just to let you know hang on I'm just gonna go to my layers and my watermarks okay so what's beautiful about this is that you can make things so I've added this incredible this beautiful huge tree that you could put in a card let's say so um, uh, let's let's go around what I what I've given you in this pack so all these little boho tribal critters are all dressed up and ready to go. Um, as you can see, you can make tote bags, you can make tumblers, you can make cups, t-shirts, whatever. And these are just a few of the examples that I've uh, created <clears throat> to inspire you. Um, so this is the first board that I have of just the elements together. Um, I just love this little reindeer. Um, I've given you three choices of reindeers, if I'm not mistaken. I've created this log. I've got like an owl, a little chick holding a, an arrow, the reindeer. Here I've made a sign that you could write whatever you want in it. And here I just made like a little frame with some drawings in it. A little squirrel. Hang on, let me go on here. This is the second board. This is other things that are included with this pack. So this other reindeer, owl, signs, a sign with antlers and feathers, a sign without. I made another teepee and I made some bunting. Uh, and then ar ar arrows, these uh, like, um, I don't know what you call it, chevron arrows. Yeah. Um, the huge tree, a smaller tree little squirrel all dressed up and ready to go for the hunt and a dream catcher made with antlers so I thought that was really cute what I've in, what I've included in this uh, pack also is backgrounds so I've made an 11 by 16 a 12 by 12 and an eight and a half by 11 okay so let's get going so I'm gonna go and select hang on a second my seps select all copy and I'm going to go to my backgrounds. Now the backgrounds are just in uh, JPEG, as the rest of the things are in PNG and JPEG. It's better to work with PNGs because they have a transparent background, and so you can put them, uh, you know, layer upon layer upon layer, like I'll show you. Also, you can work in Word, you could work in Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, you could work in pretty much everything. PowerPoint, we've done PowerPoint presentations, eh, babe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. PowerPoint presentation with these clip arts, and we've done Word documents and played with transparencies and backgrounds and stuff. So that was really cool. You could do a lot, a lot of stuff. So let's say I want to use my big tr dream catcher tree, which I think is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that, just by itself, it's beautiful. Um, but I want to do like the other uh, tree. I think I'm going to add you. Let me just add this now before I forget. I think I'm going to add an extra. Hang on a second. That's why I love doing these little demonstrations because you figure that you could, you know, do other stuff. I'm going to release my clipping mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. There we go. Hang on a second. So that if you want to do just the tree and have emphasis on the tree, let's say, like that, and write something here on the side, then you'll have enough room to do it. While here, I think the green mixed up with the... Um, the mountain of green, like it sort of gets lost there. So I'm not, I'm not sure I like that. Well, I don't like that. Period. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And every program shrinks it. it you just have different uh, um, keys that you have to hit to shrink down um, your 
uh, clip art. Um, just be mindful that you don't, sw uh, you know, um, reduce it like this because then it's not proportionate, right? Mind you, you might like that also, but and everything's okay. So, yeah. So I'm gonna add this little, um, this little um, other background so that you could do that. Okay. So I'm gonna leave this here <laughs> for later. All right. So let me take this tree. Isn't that the whole thing with being inspired and, <coughs> and drawing and and making up stuff and you just have fun. All right, so I wanted to have just the tree, just parts of the tree, because it's going to be my woodland um, creatures that are going to be underneath, right? So I'm going to put the tree like up here on the hill. If I were to do this on a 12 by 12, let me come here. Maybe I should stretch out the, okay, wait a second. Let me just stretch out my canvases. Edit artboards. I'm an illustrator right now. And so I'm going to take, whoops, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Take this, there we go. I'll push this here. And then I'll push this here. There we go. All right, so let me go back. So I'm going to play with my 11, 16, my 12 by 12, and I'm also going to play with my 8 and a half, 11. Whoops. Hang on. Copy, paste. So it's option C, option V in Mac. What would it be in, um, what would it be in, um, what do you call it, in, in PC, babe? Well, option C, option V. Well, Would it be option control command? C, control V. Control C, Control V. Yeah. There we go. All right. I know. I have to think. I, have I to know. He's off screen. My gosh. Mm -hmm. That's too much pressure. Or if I didn't want it, let's say I didn't want the trunk or just part of the trunk. Hang on. What I'll do is I'll give you, I'm going to put a white box here. And what this white box will do will show you what it's going to look like. Hang on a second. Before I do my clip, clipping mask, because I'm not going to do my clipping mask now. All right. So let's say I did want, let me hide this. Hide the confusion. Oops. Oops. Wow. Hello. All right, so let me, there we go. All right, so let's say on my eight and a half, 11, I want to have this tree just show up just a little bit. I could also, so I would do this, or I could also, hmm, no, I can't do that. That would look weird. That would look as if the wind is blowing. Well, that's not bad, but. Or what I could do is if, let's say I went on the other side, I could just do this, like so. And then I would have just that. Actually, that's really kind of cool. Okay, so let me put this here like that. All right. And if I wanted to make it bigger, I could cheat it a bit like this make it like that and have these just hanging like this right but i think i prefer a little bit smaller like so all right so that's what i would do all right next whoops this is too low hang on all right so i'm here Okay, let me do this first. Okay. Now, let's see. I could take my... Where'd it go? This gorgeous, gorgeous log of wood. And I want to put it here. Hang on, let me save as Tribal Critters 
uh, video trial or example should have been example <laughs> just so that <laughs> I don't save on my original files all right now what I could do here is have a little rabbit like that I can have um, oh, that could be even nicer. I like him. I like him or her a lot. So I could actually have that in the forefront. That will make an amazing anything. <laughs> amazing bag, amazing anything, really. All right, so I could have, let's say, this one like that. So this will... This little rabbit. Let me take my pen. I might be better with a pen than I am with a with a mouse. Hang on a second. There we go. Because for those of you who don't know, I draw on a Wacom tablet, which is my screen. I see my screen right in front of me. Um, okay, so now I could take. Uh, where's that cute little? Didn't I have another one? Yes, I did. This one. this little bird and then I option shift and I shrink it down and then I'll put that little bird that little chick on top of the log like that that'll be cute and then I can bring that little squirrel like so just in front of there that's kind of cute um, I have some clouds that I've included. Where are they? Oops, there's one. So I could put a cloud like that. Where's my other cloud? Hang on. White on white is not easy to see. There we go. I've incorporated two clouds, but you could also take the cloud and shrink it down. There we go. This and this. I select both and I bring this to the front. I mean, this would be an awesome book for kids. This could be like so cute. Yeah, they all went on a hunt or something. Okay, so I could have, the, I don't know, this would look nice on the tree. Or maybe it would be too big. Okay, shrink it down. So it's always shift option. I do everything by heart. Shift option. Put that next to the tree over there and I could just like slightly turn it like that there we go and hmm I have an owl I like this owl but I have another one which is there which now I'm thinking I should have done um let me see I should have done like a cut piece of wood like that. That could have been cool. Let me do that for you in a minute. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm going to include this also. Wait a second. Okay, so let me just cut this like that. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Whoops, that's the white thing. Hang on. Whoop. Ah. Okay. There we go. I'm going to add this to my pack. And that's why I like doing demos before I do uh, the whole pack because as I'm building stuff and I'm taking your place in essence, trying to see how you would use it, right? Well, then I, I know what's needed and, and what things work and don't work. I often say that, but but it's true because uh, I'm not the end user. You are the end user. Whoops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know me in songs, eh, babe? Yep. Yeah. Sure. All right. So now I'm going to have to copy this. Let me copy this here so I can remember. 
that I'm putting this here. There we go. And all right. So I want to have this here so that I can put this little guy on top. So arrange, bring to front. Whoops. Arrange, bring to front. There we go. And so now I notice that this does not belong, can't work here. But it could maybe, if I turn it the other way, it's going to be pointing towards, bring to front. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure about this because it's all lined up and it creates what you call the tangent as if the owl is coming out of the tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these little creatures here, like so. Does that look better? And maybe put this in the back here. Let's see. Bring to front. Has, comes out to about the same problem here. So what I could do then is I think I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm going to take, whoop, I'm going to take this gang, not the background, not the background, not the background. <laughs> I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I selected everything and I'm shrinking everything down and then I'm going to mm, I get the same tangent thing with the animal and over the tree thing and I don't like that so I'm going to move this a little bit move this one a little bit move this a little bit higher she can be in the back. Make this a little bit bigger. This should be quite a bit smaller, I think. There we go. And this, I could just move it around, see what I like best. Yeah, I think I like it better there, and then this guy, I'll be able to move here. <laughs> That's cool. Now, I have another one left. Not sure if I want to put it there or not, but let's check it out. No, I think that's a special... Well, I could always put this one here. Take this one here. Bring to front. So this one could be here right in front. So that way it gives you like multiple layers. So you see some animals in the back, some animals in the front, and not everything's on the front line if you want. And you have to keep in mind. And actually I like that better, and I'll tell you why. Because, hang on, let me just put this in front. Because... Um, this one, uh, this guy here with the tree doesn't bother me as much this way. The rabbit behind the log is okay. This little chickadee there is fine. Um, and that is cool. But what I think I would do is I'll glue another one here, put it in the back. So it sort of makes like another log and 
I'm going to make another log. I'm going to try something. Make this a little bit like this and shrink it down uneven like this and put this in the back here. You know, it's like as if it's like a, a bunch of logs, so. Or is that too much? Yeah, maybe it's a bit much, but it's up to you. Anyway, so there we go. Now, the only thing I would do different, uh, I just saw something that bothers me. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to fix this in the, yeah, in the, um, in my JPEGs and my PNGs. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a tool that makes a circle and you're going to make a oval. You're going to select this part of the green, but you don't want a, hang on a second, a, how do you say degradé in English? Degrade or more gradient. Down. Gradient. 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 Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> oh. Okay, so hang on. Bring to front. And that's basically, this is too green. Hang on a second. So every time I ask you something, I find my uh, answer. Yep, I know everything. I know. And I'm all about And yeah. Okay, so this guy oh, comes oh, here, oh, bring oh, to front. So that creates that um, little storyboard, which I absolutely love, 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 love. And what do I do with this? Well, in this case, I wouldn't put it anywhere, or you could, like you could put this in the front here if you wanted to. <coughs> Bring to front, and you could, or right here. But I think, uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. So, no. Um, also, what you can do is you could take that same green and you could make a, how would I do this for you guys with, uh, okay, a rectangle maybe. Hang on like that, like this. And then I would just go take everything here. Whoops, not this. No, not this. This, yes. And bring this to the front. You could do a little shadow like this, making a box and then skewing it. It's sort of cute. Anyway, so that's that. I think this is really cute. Love it. So let's try something else here. On the 12 by 12, yeah, well, on the 12 by 12, what I probably would do if I were to do something, um, copy paste, just these little, these little guys are adorable just by themselves. Um, hang on, where are they? Oh my God, it's taking so long. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, <laughs> my boyfriend thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> but I do love it. Okay, hang on. Oh, maybe we could do this. Yes, wait a second. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think I should be doing this as a living, like taking art and then making stuff with it or something because I just do the art and I don't do things. I can't do both, I guess. Like, it's not possible. I don't have enough hours in a day to do this, but... Okay. You know, you could do something like that. Then I would bring all these little guys. Hang on, take the tent. Nope.
and I'm whispering. Okay, I shouldn't be whispering, but you know, something like that. That could be really cute. I would bring this guy down a bit so that's not too much mixed into the tree. How cute is that? I mean, that is really cute. Okay, so, um, and here. Here you could just like have just part of the log, right? Hang on, let me bring this in the front. And you could maybe just rotate it just a little bit so that you know that it's sort of lying in a bit of an angle towards you. This, oh, this one should be a little up, up on the hill, I think. That could be cute. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, maybe I should flip it. Hang on a second. So yeah, any program can flip. You can definitely flip your clip art. And when it's PNG, you absolutely have no problem with that. Now flipping, see, I'm noticing that one feather goes into the other and I don't like that. So I'm going to move the tree a little bit. And I'm going to rotate this little deer a little bit that way. There you go. And then I'm going to take, let's say, oh, I have another squirrel. Yeah, he's pretending to be. There you go. Bring to front, like so. And we could be put this, uh, I have another one, don't I? Uh, this one so shift option and then shrink there we go and hmm, I need a couple oh I forgot the clouds hang on a second I think this kind of scenario needs clouds absolutely so whoop. So I'm putting it behind the tree, so, so you just can s sort of see it. I think that's kind of cute. And I think I'm going to go get the, oh, I wanted the bunting. Where's the bunting? Oh, there it is. And maybe this. This tent is too, too intricate. So I'm going to maybe put this in the back, and maybe it's not needed. Sometimes less is more. Yeah, less is more. Definitely less is more in this case. Hang on. Unless. Let's try something else. Um, no, 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 no. 
a no. It's a no for me. All right, so even this is a no for me. It's too much. I like this better, so I would make this just a little bit bigger. Like that. And I find that the composition is good like that. All right, now what I did want to do, okay, so let me just... this out so I select it all and I'm going to do command 7 and it creates a clipping path this is not good I don't want this however I wanted to do I want to try something now let me put this here Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm too excited about this. Hang on, so let me just art, duplicate artboards. Can't move objects because I'm going to take some objects, follow up, move the other drawing. Okay. So what I wanted to do, take this away, uh, take this here, um, and to back. the little tree. Let's see. not liking this nope so what I would do then is maybe just a little tree here another tree here and I'll flip this tree This little gang. Oh. Turn 
a bit. Bring to the front. With this little guy. This goes in the front too. Like so. And this one will be a little bit higher here. There we go. And what I would do is I would put this guy really small out in the distance. Now, I would take this tree, bring it down, <gasps> and I just lost my whole illustrator file. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Did I lose it? Yep, just lost everything. <sighs> so, lessons, so save, 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 lesson learned. Not really, because I keep forgetting. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got to do it over again. Anyway, have fun with the pack. See you soon. Time to go to bed. Bye. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I just lost everything. <laughs>